Looking at the history of the tank, it's a British invention to save soldiers' lives. The tank has adapted and been able to find a role in warfare to this day. Challenger 2 represents the modern version of what we started 100 years ago. You turn up in Challenger 2, people tend to back off. Well, Challenger 2 is just such a cracking looking tank. It looks the part. I think that's why it's become an icon. The mission was to design the best tank in the world. The perfect balance of fire fire protection and mobility. Underneath it we've got Dorchester Level 2 armour, still top secret. We've got hydro gas suspension. We've got a diesel engine at the back. We've got a tremendously powerful gun. The Challenger 2 was one of the first vehicles to use augmented reality. We overlay additional information into the vehicle's site. BA systems in previous companies, such as Vickers Defence Systems, started manufacturing tanks in 1928. So we designed and built all of the vehicles that are currently in service with the UK Army and the Royal Army of Oman. And obviously it showed its merits. I've served on it in the cold of a German winter, in the woods and forests of Poland, and in the heat and the dust of Iraq. To meet the different sorts of threats for those environments, we designed a number of enhancements. We've always worked very closely with the Army in terms of both the original design of the vehicle but also any further upgrades that they need. The foundations are all there to be able to develop the tank further. Updates to the sensor suite yeah. allowing the vehicle to see to greater ranges both day and night. We're looking at close-in situational awareness an upgraded digital weapon control system, a quick and accurate movement of the turret. We've got a full 3D dome where you can immerse yourself, you can see the sight lines, you can get a very clear view of where the problems are in the design process and ultimately the user can have a look at how the vehicle would be operated before we actually make any parts. Probably 15,000 parts make up Challenger 2. We print a lot of 3D parts. 3D printing allows you to print very quickly, significant benefits in terms of the supply of spares. We are in the 100th year since the tank first appeared on the battlefield in the Battle of the Somme. It's one of those things you want in the toolbox because it can change, it can be so adaptable. The soldiers in the British Army love jumping to. It's the right tank in the right place, it's an icon.